United Against Human Trafficking is an agency that aspires to end human trafficking through awareness, education, and outreach. We are the lead agency of the Houston Rescue and Restore Coalition. It's got 35 plus members from across the Houston area, and our mission is to strategically organize anti-trafficking efforts. And one of our main efforts that will be premiering in January, which is also National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month, is going to be a co-producer on the play called The Johns. And we thought this would be a great effort to involve the greater community around to emphasize the spread awareness that human trafficking is a basic human rights violation and it robs victims of their basic rights to freedom. And so we're just trying to bring this greater awareness through this play uh, to the Houston community. Um, I'm Jennifer Decker. I'm the artistic director of Mildred's Umbrella Theater. We do um, theater that supports the work of women and women's issues. This play came to me, um, it was brought to me by the National Council of Jewish Women who wanted to uh, produce it in, and set it in Houston. It was originally set in Chicago, written by Mary Bonnet. She has a series of plays about sex trafficking. We've been recently informed that 20% of the sex trafficking in the United States happens in Houston, which was a very shocking thing for us to learn. It sheds light on what sex trafficking does, the damage that it does to everyone involved in it, and including the, the um, middle class people that are participating in it from their end. So it's um, tragic things happen to everyone in the play, not just the um, prostitute. Um, I watched a lot of documentaries about the subject and saw that the girls that were being uh, victimized were, a lot of them were American girls, any of them could have been my students, um, people that I see in the mall, on the street, um, they weren't just, you know, brought in from other countries, they were actually normal um, American girls that I might actually know and that was pretty shocking to me. She is a girl who's been forced into prostitution. I think one thing that is um, really important and, and comes through in the play is that she is still just a person. She's constantly on edge and uh, the play I think does a good job of exploring the moments where she gets to when she's by herself and she's just a young girl coping with the situation and when she is on the job. When initially actually approaching this role, I was like, you know, how does how does someone get themselves into this situation? It, it's kind of been really shocking to me that there have been multiple times when I was growing up that I put myself in situations that girls don't always realize what, what they're doing. And at the time, I didn't think that I was being stupid because I think that that's one thing that I might even be guilty of initially is that the public is like, well, how can a girl let herself get in this kind of situation? And, and they don't always have a choice. There are gonna be 12 performances starting January 19th and running through February 4th. And tickets are on sale right now at mildredsumbrella.com.